Hello guys, this is Adit. Welcome to my channel Movement Science where I simplify biomechanics with Joe. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also check me out on Instagram where I post pictures of my notes and also put out some daily MCQs. The reference time for all the topics that I am going to cover will be mentioned down in the description. So check that out and let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about the kinematics variables. The previous video, we talked about the variables of time and the distance, correct? It was basically telling us the different parameters by which we can analyze the gate, like your step length and then the step duration, all those things, correct? So now in this video, we will take kinematics variable that is basically the position velocity of the movement, acceleration of the movement, the joint angles and this is the importance of this video, basically the kinematics variable. These variables are used to analyze the gate in different ways. So although it looks like a lot of information, we are just going to cover the key points over here. That is the position, velocity, acceleration, trajectory and joint angles. These are the variables. So let's start with the topic. First. To start, the analysis was earlier done with stroboscopic photography, which then moved on to cinematography. And then finally, from there, it went to the electrogoniometer for checking the angles. And then now finally, we have the computerized motion analysis, which has a 3D view and it gives us a very holistic view of the gate. Apart from this, there is also the observational gate analysis that we do, which requires a lot of training and practice because you have to observe the person walk over and over again so that you get an idea of what is normal and then you need to pick up the shortcomings or the deviations that you can see in the gate. So the accuracy of this wasn't that great, but in recent years with slow motion recorded videos, there is definitely some improvement in the accuracy. So this is what I mentioned here earlier, the reliability was very low. But in recent years, with the slow motion and an improved technology, improved camera quality, the reliability has definitely improved. So now that we have covered what are the ways we analyze the gate, now let's look at the kinematics variables. Now kinematics, as I've discussed before, it is the movement. We describe the movement, right? So what will come under that? The position. When I say position, it is the position of the body, body segments, your trunk, head, all these things will be considered when you are looking at a gate, right? Apart from that, it will also be the velocity of the movement, right? Velocity of the gate at what speed the person is walking and then how the speed is changing. That is rate of change of velocity. That is your acceleration while walking. Then if you go to see more variables, there will be the trajectories. Trajectory is basically the path in space during the movement, meaning when you are putting your step ahead, how your foot is going, is there any circumduction or is this just normal flexion that you are seeing. So these are all trajectories of your foot. Now, for example, the path of the toe during gait is related to the trips and fall because if you keep the toe ahead of the other toe, you can trip and fall, right? Or if you track the ASIS of both the sides or PSIS, if the ASIS on one, is on one side is dropping, that means the abductors in the region are weak, correct? Because they are not able to stabilize the pelvis when you are walking. So this is why the trajectory is important. Apart from trajectory, there is also the joint angle. Now we all know that you need a good amount of knee flexion so that we can clear the foot. Also dorsiflexion at the ankle joint so that we can clear the foot during the swing phase, correct? So this is why joint angles are important. Now joint angles can be checked in two ways. There is the absolute and then there is the relative joint angle. Absolute is basically you take a line parallel to the ground and then from there you check the hip angle and the relative is pretty simple. It is basically between the two segments that we use normally. So these are the two ways you can check the joint angle. The anatomical position that we know that is also called as the zero position of joint in the gait analysis. So that's all we have for this video. It was just basically giving you an introduction to all these parameters that we use. So in future videos, as we mention these, there shouldn't be any doubt or hesitation, right? So to summarize the topic, we talked about the variables or you can also call them the parameters that we use for kinematics while analyzing the gait. So we talked about the trajectory. We talked about the joint angles, which are the two main ones. 
Apart from that, the velocity and acceleration of your gait and the position of your head, trunk and the body segments in space. Correct? So with that, we finish off this topic. That's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also like the video as it really helps me out. Also let me know in the comment section what other videos you would like me to cover. And see you soon in the next video.